without 3D physics engine often faces criticism for its performance. This leads some developers to try other alternatives such as Yolt and Rapier 3D, which are basically meant to provide better performance and behaviors. But are these alternatives actually worth considering? Today we will test Without Physics 3D, Yolt and Rapier 3D to help you decide which is the best physics engine for your game. Let's get started. Firstly, I will super super quickly go over the exact project that we are going to be using. And basically it contains the basic elements of a 3D project. Basically it has the directional light, the world environment and the camera. And then I also created this kind of platform in which then the bolts are going um, to be falling because yes, I have a vault created here that as you can see, it doesn't have any of the settings uh, modified. And the only thing that it has is a mesh instance and a collision shape uh, 3D. And also I have here a user interface that has the amount of bolts that have been instantiated and also the current FPS. The only script that this game has is this one in the main node that has a reference to the vault scene, has references to both the vaults and FPS label, also has the spawn rate of the vaults that as you can see is 0 0.005 um, and also have a reference to the spawn uh, timer, basically to make sure that I am spawning a vault uh, at this rate and also have the balls amount that then I use in order to update the object's number, okay? And as you can see, well, indeed the code is quite simple and straightforward in the process delta function. I am always updating the FPS label accordingly. Then in the spawn timer, well, I am updating it using the delta parameter and using this spawn timer, if we compare it to the spawn rate, then I'm going to be able to actually be spawning a ball that once again the code is quite straightforward and simple and of course every time that a ball is being spawned I update the object's number. In terms of my PC I have a Ryzen 5 5600X of 6 cores and as you can see I don't have it uh, overclocked or anything like that I have it at the base uh, speed. In terms of RAM I have uh, 16 gigabytes uh, of RAM and uh, well I have three discs of these three discs over here but well they aren't really important in this case and as the GPU I have a, a 1650 um, so that those are the specifications that I have and I also have uh, Windows 11 and of course as the tests are performed I'm going to be recording uh, my PC using OBS. Let's start off with without physics. And as soon as we start playing, we do get quite interesting FPS and balls. But well, when we reach something like 1500 volts, everything starts to break quite easily. Um, in spite of this fact, uh, the collisions still remain quite accurate. There aren't balls falling behind, or trespassing collisions or anything like that. The main problem here doesn't really have to do with behaviors, I would say, but with the performance that we get. Now let's try out Rapier 3D. So as soon as we start, we see some errors in terms of the collision. I don't really know why, because I didn't modify any project settings. I just installed Rapier and did the export. Although right now we do get much better results. The game starts to break. Basically, it reaches less than 30 FPS in something like 2,500 2, volts which is much more than without physics that was breaking in something like uh, 1500 volts. And lastly, let's try out YOLT. So here we have no errors in terms of collision. The behaviors are still quite accurate and quite good. And here we are able to surpass the two, um, 2500 uh, barrier or two, 2200 barrier without having less than 30 FPS, which is quite good and even better than what we used to have with the other two physics engines.
So, because of these three tests that we performed, we can come to the conclusion that indeed Growth Physics 3D had the worst performance out of the three. Then Rapier 3D was able to get better performance than Growth Physics 3D, but well, it did have these problems with the collisions. But in terms of behaviors, it was slightly better. And finally, Yolt was able to provide both um, a collision system that worked perfectly without having to tweak anything and the best performance of the three. So indeed, I would love to hear what you think about this in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.